standing here looking out the window at the kitchen garden. I don't know if you guys can see it, we'll go outside and check it out. There's a bee and that flower pollinating the garden for us. There you go. We've got counted three different bees so far out here pollinating this little garden we have over here. Let's see if we can find some. There we go. <laughs> One right there in the s that's gonna be summer squash. There's another one. Just another great reason to keep bees. With all these bees over here pollinating the flowers for us for our vegetables, we should have a whole bunch of vegetables to eat in this little tiny garden space. I wish you guys could just see these bees bee bopping around the garden. They're going from over here, we have summer squash, two rows of beets. Beets are over here under the zucchini plants a little bit to the tomato plants. I mean, just look at all the little tomatoes we already have. And then they're also going, coming over here and going on the cucumbers. And I'm sure they've been going to all the string beans. I just haven't seen them yet. We got more string beans over here. Can you guys hear them? I'm hearing her, but I'm not seeing her. Oh, there she is. They are loaded with pollen right now. Yep, there's three of them in here. Right here, a little tiny summer squash. Then you got the bees pollinating. Look at the loaded with pollen. You see the yellow all over her back. Now to the tomatoes. Be so weighted down she's not gonna be able to fly pretty soon. Got a bunch of tomatoes. More there, there. These plants aren't even three feet tall yet. Let's see, we have some zucchini in the jungle. See it right there, small little zucchini there. One over here that doubled in size overnight. Little baby cucumbers there. They're just another great reason to keep some bees. If you don't get the honey, the honey is like the best you could hope for. But the great, you keep the bees, they're gonna pollinate your garden, they're gonna pollinate all, I'll show you, we'll pollinate our apple trees. The apple trees are doing awesome. And if you get the honey, that's just like the icing on the cake. Just think about all the great food we're gonna get. I mean, we're just gonna have so much zucchini and summer squash in here because of the bees. If we didn't have them, they wouldn't be pollinating and we wouldn't have that much vegetables to eat. So thank you bees. Let's go check on the apple trees. So here's one of the apple trees. It is loaded this year with apples. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. You can see them here. Can we get up higher and see them? I mean, it's just it's a big, tall old apple tree. It is loaded with apples. Just look at that. I mean, just look at this. Would you look at all these apples? I can't eat all these. We won't be able to eat all these. But, but we'll give them to the chickens and the pigs and the deer. We're going to get plenty of food. And this is a lot of this is from the bees. Thank you, bees. Without you, we wouldn't have this food. So and this is just one of the apple trees on our property. We're gonna be loaded. Last year we were loaded with more apples than this, I believe, and we couldn't take advantage of it. We didn't have any pigs or chickens. It was kind of disappointing. So this year we got chickens and pigs. We're gonna take advantage of all this abundance. Thank you. Good morning, girls. Got a little treat for you. I know, you're muddy. It's all right, we can have you and Karen muddy. All the rain we've been having lately, 
The girls are loving it, keeping them cool, but they're pretty dirty. They don't mind. Let's give them some of these apples. Pigs love apples. Woohoo! If it wasn't for the bees, the pigs wouldn't be having this. So, thank you bees, and thank you pigs. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.